So let's go ahead and let's now move into tuning our part throttle. So if we jump back in here to our table, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly simulate uh, what I would go and do for setting up our, uh, our fuel table here. So I'm gonna go bring my engine up to a bunch of different RPM points and loads, and I'm gonna sweep the load as I hold it at a particular RPM. Now we're gonna be going over this when we do the live training session so you can see this live, but I'm still just gonna go over the process right now so you can see exactly what uh, everything should look like. So I'm gonna bring my engine RPM to, to something like 2000, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna sweep uh, across here, and I'm gonna go and slowly walk across my load, and I'm gonna do that a few times and do very gradual movements um, so that I don't upset uh, my acceleration enrichment and have reported false rich or lean conditions. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up a little bit more in RPM. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up and I'm gonna move across the row here and I'm gonna try not to go above my zero PSI comm right here. Uh, because I'm going to stay in my vacuum portion of my driving. So my idle, my vacuum, what we're focusing on. Then we're going to get into our full throttle conditions um, in another video here. So we're going to do that same process. We're going to walk it up. We're going to populate our air fuel data and let it build this air fuel. And then we're going to keep doing that. We're going to keep going up and letting it build. And we're going to go and see in a little bit here, once we've went through and uh, swept through our table the best we can go. Oh, that went into VTEC. Now, uh, that's something we want to avoid at this point. We want to just tune our low cam uh, fuel table. So let's go into our parameters because our VTEC's on. Let's go and disable our VTEC, which is something that we would have done in the previous videos because we would have focused just on doing this part throttle. We do not want to go into our high cam operation yet. So I'm going to just click VTEC enable, uh, uh, check it so it turns it off. That's going to automatically set that to uh, then off because I'm on this real-time update. I updated that immediately. So let's keep going up and engine RPM here a little bit higher. And we're going to sweep across and bring it back down again. Okay, so now let's come down to our idle and uh, let's just take a look at what we need to do to change some of this table here. Um, we can see now that if we uh, take a look at our values that is populated in this uh, lambda difference. So again, it's going to be the difference from the values we have here against uh, the actual uh, air fuel that we can see here. We can see it's lean at the higher RPM, and we can see it's going to show us the difference that we need to make changes from. So I'm going to go in, and uh, my areas that are anything plus or minus 5%, I'm going to leave them alone right now, because right now we're focusing on the big changes that we need to make to the table and the large percentage differences. So right off the bat here, I can see uh, just looking across this range, I can see that I have 10%, 7%, 11%, 9%, 3%. I'm going to go ahead and just select this area right here. I'm just going to hit Control J, and I'm going to add 5%. I'm not going to do any more than that at this point because I wanna, I'm going to have to go back and sweep this again and get a little bit closer in air fuel. And we're going to go down here below that range, and we're going to look. We see 11 12 uh, 13%. I'm going to go ahead and just add 10%. I'm not going to add any more at this point in time. Now I'm going to go and I can see that my air fuel is uh, definitely lean as we get up into our higher load ranges here. I'm just going to go and assume that everything above this point is going to be relatively lean. I can see that my, uh, I can see values of 9, 11, 15, 25, 19, and 28. I'm going to go ahead and just add 12% just as an overall. That's going to scale this up. Now that I've done that, now that I have uh, added a bunch of generalized uh, fuel based on what we've went ahead and swept across here, I'm going to be ready to go back and do that process again. And we're going to repeat that uh, several times until we get these values to be uh, plus or minus 2 or 